Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve one-step division inequalities. Now, when we solve inequalities, we want to isolate the variable, get it by itself on one side of the inequality. We do that by using inverse operations. So this is very similar to when we solve equations. One thing we need to be aware of though, when it comes to inequalities, we flip the inequality symbol when multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative. And we will talk more about this later in the video. Let's jump into number one, where we have d divided by 10 is greater than six. So we need to isolate that variable of d. It's being divided by 10, so we need the inverse operation of division. That's multiplication. So let's multiply the left side of the inequality by 10. Whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced. So multiply the right side by 10 as well. Now on the left side, these 10s cancel each other out. So D is now isolated. We have D is greater than, and then on the right side, six times 10, gives us 60. So we have D is greater than 60. So any value greater than 60 is a solution of this inequality. It makes it true. And let's check a solution to make sure we are correct here. Now we can't check every value greater than 60. That would be impossible. We have an infinite amount of possibilities as far as solutions values that make this inequality true. So what we can do, we can check one value or more if we would like to see if this works. Let's use 70. 70 is greater than 60 and we'll work with that 10. So let's plug in 70 for D. So we have 70 divided by 10 is greater than six. 70 divided by 10 gives us seven and seven is greater than six, so this does work. We are correct here, D is greater than 60. Let's move on to number two, where we have X divided by negative seven is less than or equal to negative three. So let's isolate X, it's being divided by negative seven, so we need the inverse operation. That's going to be multiplication. So let's multiply the left side by negative seven, and that means we need to multiply the right side by negative seven. Now remember, when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative, the inequality symbol flips. So as soon as both sides are multiplied or divided by a negative, that symbol flips. And here we are multiplying both sides by negative seven. So as far as the left side, these negative sevens cancel each other out x is now isolated. The inequality symbol has flipped. And then on the right side, negative three times negative seven gives us positive 21. Remember, a negative times a negative equals a positive. So this is our answer. x is greater than or equal to 21. In other words, X can be anything greater than 21 or equal to 21. Now let's check a solution to make sure we are correct here. And let's use 28. That will work with the negative seven since we are dividing here. So let's plug in 28 for X. So we have 28 divided by negative seven is less than or equal to negative three. 28 divided by negative seven gives us negative four. So we have negative four is less than or equal to negative three. That is true, so we are correct here. Again, X is greater than or equal to 21. Now before we end, let's take a look at flipping the inequality symbol and why this happens when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative. Let's take a look at flipping the inequality symbol and why this happens when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative. Let's start with the example, two is less than five. Is this inequality true? 
Of course, two is less than five. But let's see what happens when we multiply both sides by positive two. Let's see if this remains true. And let's rewrite this with both sides being multiplied by two. Now on the left, we have two times two, which gives us four. So we have four is less than, and then on the right, five times two gives us 10. So we have four is less than 10. So did the inequality remain true after multiplying both sides by two, positive two? Yes, four is less than 10. Now let's multiply both sides by negative two. So let's rewrite this with both sides being multiplied by negative two. But multiplying both sides by a negative changes the inequality. We have to flip the inequality symbol, change its direction. So we're multiplying the left side by negative two and then flip the inequality symbol and then we're multiplying the right side by negative two. As soon as both sides are multiplied or divided by a negative, that inequality symbol flips in order for the inequality to remain true. Because on the left, we are multiplying two by negative two, that gives us negative four, and negative four is greater than, and then on the right, we are multiplying five by negative two. That gives us negative 10. Negative four is greater than negative 10. Now, what if that inequality symbol was not flipped? We would have negative four is less than negative 10. That inequality is not true. When we flipped the inequality symbol, that was true. Now let's apply this to number two that we already solved. We have x divided by negative seven is less than or equal to negative three. So we need to multiply both sides by negative seven. So let's rewrite this and we are multiplying both sides by negative seven. And since we are multiplying both sides by a negative, the inequality symbol needs to flip. So that inequality symbol needs to change direction as soon as we multiply both sides by a negative in order for this to be true. Now on the left, these negative sevens cancel each other out. X is now isolated. So we have X is greater than or equal to, and then on the right, negative three times negative seven gives us 21. So X is greater than or equal to 21. Now, when we solved this before, we didn't rewrite everything. We multiplied both sides from the original problem. We flipped after multiplying and we ended up with the correct answer. But here, I wanted to rewrite this to show that technically the symbol flips as soon as both sides are multiplied or divided by a negative. So we wrote out that step to show that. Now, if you forget to flip the inequality symbol, when you go to check a solution, you'll notice that it won't work. So it's important to check and you can catch that mistake. Again, just remember, flip the inequality symbol when multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative. So there you have it. There's how to solve one-step division inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.